You know that moment when an extremist is trying to force their beliefs down your throat and constantly insult you despite you ignoring or debunking their false info and hate you for things you love and enjoy and suddenly pull a Oh, you're a fucking demon card out of their ass. Yeah. Time to summon Evil Tim. Evil Tim is back in there! <laughs> Hey pups, Arby here, and no oh lordy. I've got a personal story time about an extremist experience. This one has to be fairly recent and requires me to censor out the username. And while I have my avatar up for the most part, there's going to be a speed drawing in the background of two of my characters, Zoro and a Wendigo Wolf hybrid OC named Ethan, because irony and pleasing my weird joy out of pissing off other extremists like this person in the story. I will. I will also provide screenshots of Convo for some context and read it word for word, so gird your loins, everybody. To quote KS55T in this situation, today starts off like any other than BOOM! An extremist attack! No, no, not really. I was actually reading and replying to comments on some of my videos, then one in particular caught my attention quickly. You guys remember my old Pokemon is Satanic rant, right? Well, the video in question rubbed this person the wrong way. Pokemon is based on Solomon and the demons he steal with his reign. Even the Pokeballs are a reference to his reign. Sorry you didn't do enough research to figure it out that it is Satanic. Note, I had a sneaking suspicion that this person was either ill-informed via the Preacher videos on Pokemon, or was just flat out not understanding what I said was fact based on what I know about Pokemon since I was a child. So, I decided to debunk their false info with my own personal knowledge about the creator of Pokemon. Actually, it's not. Pokemon was created by Satoshi Tajiri, who created the game out of fascination and hobby of bug collecting. He wanted to share his passion for bug collecting by creating the Pokemon franchise. Sorry you didn't do enough research to figure out that it is, in fact, not satanic, and you're stuck in your religious extremist ideology, my dear. You know, to be honest, part of me wanted to say that Satoshi has high-functioning autism. Little fun fact of the day, and it kind of explains why the other kids bullied me and my other friends for liking Pokemon and calling it retarded because they hated people with autism. But if it did, they'd probably say, Autism is Satan's way of brainwashing and possessing others! At least that's what I think would have happened. And you want to know what this said? Oh, I didn't know that! Thank you for the info. Sorry, I was brainwashed by my extremism. Nope, because if they said that, this wouldn't be a sword time and this video wouldn't have happened. He actually lied because when you lie about the inspiration for a show, it conceals the true genius of a show by giving it a simpler mask. The kind of lie that is the ultimate genius. By the way, Kadabra and Akazam are based on the occult symbol Baphomet. An average Japanese name, Casey, is named after Edgar Casey the occultist. So you're dumb enough to believe that Baphomet and even an ice cream Pokemon or Mewtwo is based on bugs. The bug thing is clearly a simple explanation for an extremely complex show. Wait, what? Okay, clearly this person is a devoted extremist, a troll, using a burner account for kicks, or all of the above. Last time I checked, Baphomet is more related towards paganism than Satanism. And no, pagan does not mean Satanist. But I could be wrong in the whole Baphomet thing. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, or correct me scripting RP, slash recording RP, slash editing RP. And from what little research I've done, Edgar Casey was a psychic, not some occultist or whatever. At least from my knowledge. Apparently this person is more likely that god warrior woman from Wife Swap or something. She's not a Christian! Ah! She, she's tampering in doubt, sad and stuff! In Jesus' name, I pray. They will be on my prayer list for the day I die. Every one of you them. You spoke to her? I speak that into existence, every one of them. I've planted that seed and I will see the harvest. Get out of my house! Or said a person, get out of my house. If you believe in Jesus, you can stay here. Don't stay in my house! If you're dark sided Witches! I don't want to see anything! Any stars! I don't want to see any of this dark sided psychics! All the things! Tarot card reading! I rebuke it in the name of the Lord! Ah uh, yes. Throw some more extreme Christian ideology my way and force that religion down others' throats. But it's even the truth with the lies and preaching the word of God. You are aware that if you force your religion down others' throats, then you're actually no better than the evil in God's eyes. And it also seems to me like you're just basically repeating what every preacher 
goes against things such as anime, video games, etc. It's all about black magic, evil, and Satan brainwashing the minds of those stupid enough to not believe the word God. What's next? You're gonna say Beastars and or Rugrats is all about the occult because God hates furries and because cartoon babies? Clearly you're only taking the words of false info thrown at you due to extremist waves. So if that's all you're gonna do, you might as well because you will get nowhere in life if you constantly go on the internet and just rage and rant about how God will punish those who are evil and deny his existence. Then you might as well go to the Westboro Baptist Church because it's not Sunday morning, honey. Oh, and one more thing, only embarrassing yourself and other Christians by doing this repeatedly, not only to me, but to others who are fans of Pokemon, dear. What happened then, you ask? Did they stop and leave me alone? Nope! They got a little salty and said the following. Toshi Tatsuri is religious! He's a Freemason, you dumb fuck! I just explained that his show is full of Freemasonry. Even Alistair in the Short and Shield games is based on Alistair Corelli. <laughs> Someone's salty! My, my, how the ignorance is blissful. From the research I've done, Freemasonry isn't even a religion. It's more of a male group of sorts. For men to become better and stronger leaders, or some type of business religion practice or something similar to that. So apparently, according to this person, anyone who's like Satoshi, or any other business CEO person for that matter, or anyone who isn't Christian, is equivalent to a Satanist or Donald Trump. And believe it or not, there are some Satanists who are actually really nice people. An example will be the Satanic Temple of Washington, D.C. They actually did donations for menstrual products for women who are homeless, and I think back in November, they actually did a charity drive called Diapering Little Devils, which is basically just a baby donation type of thing. So Satanism isn't all about sacrificing others and drinking goat's blood in the name of Satan. There are some Satanists who are actually nice and very civil people. Heck, I even knew a couple from high school, and they were the nicest people I've ever met. And apparently, Christianity's view on Freemasons are very twisted. Technically, Freemasonry is similar to being agnostic, but it's also a type of religion with religious freedom for their members. Believe whatever they want. So, I think it's religion, but it's also not at the same time, I guess. Correct me if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'll link sources of the info on Freemasonry in the description. And the only thing I got from Alistair being like Alistair Casey, the occultist, which when doing research he was, but I honestly think he was just insane to even call himself B666. But a lot of people are fascinated by him, weirdly, <laughs> was the name. And the spelling of Alistair in particular comes from the meaning man's defender. While Alistair is a dark, cool, and edgy name, it automatically doesn't mean anti-Christ person! And despite IRL people, events, and locations being inspired by Pokemon's games, movies, and anime episodes, it's all just a game, show, and just a franchise. And yes, sometimes the Pokemon world is dark and scary, but that's life. Life is dark and scary sometimes, baby. And there is some Christianity thrown into the mix of Pokemon's satanic evils, such as Arcus being inspired by God, Mew being Jesus, and Garantana being Satan. But that's my perspective on the whole thing. And to me, it makes more sense just looking at it, and it makes more sense to me just looking at everything logically, rather than deeming everything and everyone satanic. So I decided to retaliate by being saucy and sassy. Well, someone's gotten salty, haven't they? Again, you're just embarrassing yourself and giving other Christians a bad name just by forcing your religious beliefs and constantly repeating the same thing over and over about Pokemon is satanic, and if you like Pokemon, you're a Satanist. BS. You're just as bad as any other person out there. Not all Satanists are evil. Not all Christians have the same belief as you. And all you're doing is wasting your own time with all this. So you might as well take that extremist somewhere else, honey. You're clearly a CIA agent, but I already told you. I'm not even gonna bother to read the rest. Wait, what? Okay, according to this person, I'm a CIA agent, and CIA agents are undercover Satanists because Christianity is the higher and better religion out of the religious belief system, and anyone who's a CIA agent is evil. Truth is, I am an undercover CIA agent! No, no, not really. I'm just a random chick doing videos for fun and expressing whatever I want be it opinions, facts, whatever. In all seriousness, the whole combo was one of the stupidest ones I've had, but also the funniest ones in the world. You'll see why in a minute. And for the research I've done, and for the research I've done, Satoshi is more into mythology and anime is from Japanese history from Shinto Tsimi. But if I said it to the extremists, they'd say, Well, Japan is full of Satanists and Satan worshippers! They worship a pretty Satan for America! to lose World War II because they're against Christianity! 
No, it is not Japan's fault for being mad over something so many years ago when a random dictator decided to erase those who were LGBT+, Jewish, or didn't fit into perfect minority, quote unquote. And yes, while some of them don't like Americans in their certain areas, one has to respect if a restaurant owner in Japan asks an American tourist to leave because, well, their own belief system. They just do that and respect the owner's wishes. At least that's what I would do. Because I'd rather respect the person's wishes for me to leave an establishment rather than being Karen and freak out and say, I have just as much right as anyone else to be here! Some people in Japan are just like that because of that. Or the fact that some Americans are bigoted towards various races and cultures. Some, not all. And Shitotsumism is a poly-based religion from Japanese history involving various gods and the like, such as Kami or Jinji. But again, if I said that, they'd say the same thing I already said about them saying Japanese people being Satanists. And there's even an article proving the whole thing about Pokemon being Satanic is 100% false. So I decided to have more fun with this person. How the hell am I a CIA agent? I'm agnostic. And no, agnostic does not mean atheist or Satanist, sweetie. You're just gonna keep on repeating the same thing over and over or what? I already told you, you're wasting your time and Pokemon has nothing to do with Satanism or the occult or otherwise. Despite some inspiration from religion, IRL people at events, etc. It's a game and an anime, and you're just getting mad and wasting your time over all of this. To be honest, I was already prepared for some of the worst insults and constant false information and Bible thumping at me. But what they said was, well, I'll just read a screenshot right now. Oh, so you're just a demon. <laughs> Are you freaking serious right now, girl? They are a troll with a burner account, 100%. Guys, guess what? I'm a demon, and not just any demon. I'm a Pokemon Succubus demon, and I'm also a Luciferian as well. Because being agnostic means I'm a devil worshiper. Get an exorcist in holy water, douse me, and send me back to hell, bitches! At this point, the combo couldn't get any worse as I responded with, Lamel, are you serious right now? Oh, Jesus Christ, this, that was too funny. But I think afterwards I just blocked them and I haven't heard anything from them yet because either they gave up or just rage quit the convo entirely. And if you don't know what a Luciferian is, I'll link a source explaining it in the description as well as many other sources I did for my research for this video to prove a couple of points straight. And if that same extremeness is watching this video, oh well, thanks for the free content, honey. I'm sure they'd be in super saying in a rage if they found out I'm also pansexual and started bipple thumping me with how gays are against God and God hates gays and various other BS about my likes, hobbies, and other things about me. Oh, uh, this was this was just too funny for words. And if this person doesn't give up and just continues with this, I'll be sure to maybe add a part two in the future if they create another account just to try and get under my skin, which they won't. I'll just out troll the troll either way. If you guys ever had an extremist experience, be sure to share your story in the comments below and cue the outro. RP is out. Peace!